So I'm going to have to speak up a little bit more than I ordinarily would because this is closer to a road than I would like to be making a video, but it's something that I see so rarely um, and it's actually over a fence and I had to go and find a landowner and get permission because it's just such a lovely thing to show you even if it's not in the best condition <laughs> and you can hear the road behind me. So I'm going to very carefully excavate around the base of this because some of the details that I want you to see, I'm just going to see if I can grab my knife out. Some of the details that I'd like you to see are under the, the surface of the substrate, the soil. Um, and this is often the case with mushrooms, and I've said it before, it's really important that we very gently and very carefully taking care not to to damage the base it's really firmly in there so this has a lovely vulva sac. Can you see that? It comes all the way up the side here. This is part of the, the vulva. Um, and it's quite different from uh, a lot of the other vulvas that we see in Amanita. So this is Amanita. Um, it also has, and it's slightly less obvious on this one. I might show you the other one as well has a slightly shaggy stem and it has a ring which on this one is still a bit attached. I'm going to grab the other one to show you as well. These have been quite eaten but they're so unusual around here that I wanted to show you even though they weren't particularly beautiful specimens. Can you see the, the top of the vulva sac there? There we go. And <laughs> so firmly in the ground, I keep putting my knife down. Um, but what I wanted to show you is on the stem here, can you see it's quite shaggy? It's got these kind of shaggy scales. Um, and that's something that helps us to identify this species. It also has a ring that you can see is quite frail. It's quite thin and it seems to quite easily disappear uh, or fall away. So you will expect to see a ring on this, but it's not always going to be super, super obvious. Um, on this one, it's still attached to the gills, uh, or not to the gills, but uh, from the cat margin to the, the stipe, but you can see where it's breaking. It's not leaving a, a lovely distinct ring like you would hope. Um, and this vulva sac going right up from the base there. Now this is a destroying angel. This is uh, Amanita in section Phalloides, or Phalloide. Um, sorry, really distracting to have so many cars going past behind me. Um, but this is an important one to look at because this is deadly poisonous and would be really, really unpleasant if you were to eat it. It would uh, be quite likely to cause death in, in people that eat it. Um, it also gives me an opportunity to show you something that I think is quite important. We talk about often, particularly when we're working with people that are trying to identify fungi, that that it's okay to taste and spit any fungus. Fungi have to be ingested to poison us. You can see I'm handling this without gloves. It's totally fine to handle. Um, absolutely safe, uh, normal handling. There have been a, a case or two of, of transdermal poisoning, but in lab conditions and using uh, solvents and things like that, not just normal handling when you're out in the woods and wanting to identify something. Um, and 
and we actually have to ingest pieces of the mushroom in order for it to be a danger to us. So I'm going to show you something that whilst I wouldn't recommend that everybody do this, um, it's, it's a demonstration just to show that it's, it's actually not a concern, it's not worrying to taste as long as you spit out after you do so. So I'm going to turn you around. Hello. <laughs> Uh, and this is the first time I've found uh, Destroying Angel. I find death caps occasionally, but not for a couple of years on the Ashdown Forest. And it's, it's actually quite exciting. Um, and this will be my first taste and spit test. So, uh, <laughs> I'm actually just being really boring and getting some dirt off the cap. This is uh, also a little bit of personal rivalry. Um, Alex has a, a wonderful video on YouTube uh, of him tasting a, a death cap. So this is my Amanita Virosa destroying angel. Mm. And you'll see there are still some bits in my mouth so And that's all you need to be sure of, is that you've chewed it up properly and spat it out properly. Um, I can report that it's really pleasant tasting. It's kind of slightly nutty, maybe slightly radishy. It smells sweet, but it doesn't taste sweet. Um, but it is, it is quite pleasant and I can see how it's an issue and how it gets mistaken. Yeah, slightly peppery on the end. Um, but yeah, not unpleasant at all, and I can see how it happens that people eat those. Um, do like and subscribe. Um, if you want to see more of this, we're learning to identify uh, all types of fungi, so edible, poisonous, sometimes just because they're lovely, uh, and also plants. Uh, if you're local to Sussex, then you can book on a course with me. I'm doing courses at Tablehurst Farm in Forest Row. And uh, if you are finding these useful, these videos and the content that I produce online, uh, I'll put a link to buy me a coffee underneath and you're welcome to tip and contribute to the free content that way. Uh, I think that's it for today. I am going to take some more pictures of my lovely mushrooms and uh, yeah, enjoy your foraging. Don't eat a death cap or a destroying angel. <laughs>